Masters champion Scotty Scheffler was arrested by police in Louisville Friday morning on his way to the PGA Championship. Shocking images showed him handcuffed as he was led to a police car and charged with assaulting an officer after allegedly attempting to drive around traffic backed up from a pedestrian fatality investigation. Scheffler was later released and continued competing in the tournament. Police stated that Scheffler was booked for second-degree assault of a police officer, third-degree criminal mischief, reckless driving, and disregarding traffic signals from an officer directing traffic. Scheffler's attorney denied the assault claims, stating they will litigate the matter as needed. In a statement, Scheffler expressed being in a very chaotic situation and hoped to focus on golf. The incident occurred when a pedestrian was struck by a bus while crossing the road in a lane dedicated to tournament traffic. The pedestrian died at the scene, causing traffic congestion near Valhalla Golf Club. Scheffler, the world's top-ranked player, resumed playing shortly after the incident. He declined to provide specifics but mentioned not being aware of the accident's severity. Scheffler expressed confidence in resolving the charges swiftly. According to a police report, Scheffler failed to comply with an officer's instructions and accelerated forward, causing the officer to be dragged to the ground and sustain injuries. The Louisville Metro Police Department stated that all lanes were closed during the investigation and appreciated the cooperation of all parties involved. Scheffler's attorney emphasized that Scheffler was following instructions and attributed the incident to miscommunication. ESPN reporter Jeff Darlington witnessed the arrest, noting a misunderstanding with traffic flow led to the incident. The PGA of America identified the victim as John Mills, a worker with one of their vendors. The PGA extended condolences to Mills' family, and Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir expressed sympathy for the victim's family. Scheffler also conveyed his condolences, emphasizing the tragic nature of the incident. Scheffler was briefly held in custody before being released and returning to the tournament. Fans welcomed him back to the course as he resumed his play.